going on a Katie and Sunday adventure if the car starts. Let's see. Yay! Flipped Beautiful companion friend Sunday here. And um, it's been a long time since we've gone and made some serious fine art together. And I'm looking forward to it. How cool is that to have a baby seat in my car for my grandbaby? Um, well, how magic times do change and uh, lovely Sunday's been here for a lot of that which is very special and I've got an exciting show coming up so I um, want to go and make some work for it, some new work. Okay, bye! At Yarra Boulevard just checking out the view here thinking about an artwork from this position which I have never drawn here at this spot got the city in the background and you probably can't make it out but there is the river. Let me show you. Beautiful winter's day. The river curves around. The golf course on the other side. Really good sense of the bush here. <laughs> Victorious golfers. And uh, the city from a slightly different angle. It's a nice little clustered shape. Mm. Mostly. Mm. I love that you can see the spire right there in the middle. And the gap there. That's quite good. But we're going to go stick to my plan. And the plan today is to go to the Abbotsford Convent spot where I draw that. So let's get there. Okay, I think this is a good spot. I've got brilliant sunlight, lots of bike riders and motorbikes, but that's the Abbotsford Convent and the beautiful um, dead waddle is kind of perfect. I'll go up to the boot of the car where I can position my um, <laughs> drawing board. Sunday's got sunshine on his forehead. We'll go for a walk after. Somehow I got a giant mosquito bite on my head. That's what you get working in nature. Holy moly. Well, this is kind of perfect. Somebody's helped me find this spot. Right up on a ridge. Where we can look over the Abbotsford Convent on the river. It's just magic. Well, look how cool it is on this ridge. Where we can see the convent from above.
Hello my loves. I'm at Beringia Cultural Centre um, where I've just had a meeting with the curator about my show, a show, for next year. Um, originally I'd proposed it for last year and then I thought maybe the beginning of next year and um, He'd offered me some dates coming up in September, which were freaking me out a little bit. But in fact, um, they won't fit. I don't think the, um, the space is large enough for my work for that slot. So that's moved back to the March idea, which is rather exciting. Uh, just helped myself to a coffee. and I've got a phone meeting thing with my naturopath coming up. I'm just doing a little walk, calm thing. Con uh, contrasting with the coffee that's now in my system um, so yes exciting just sit with you for a minute I was getting quite stressed about the idea of showing in September so I'm quite relieved to have possible dates in March feels um, better. Stick to my original plan is probably wise. Um, yeah, I hope that I can really fulfill my vision for the Yarra work and this uh, its new incarnation and uh, bring it through Melbourne starting from up here in the hills and um, travelling south this time to the, the bay all right so that's it there's an amazing show of Mary Tompkins in there at the moment and um, yeah oh, and Fred Williams and Miles Evergood whose work I hadn't seen before I'll try and splice together some shots and um, actually make this little video for you how would that be I've been recording them and not putting them out there so I want to thank you so much for all your support and love and um, sending you tons of it tons of love back as well okay bye Jesus, and we're gonna wear you. Oh, I 